Good morning, New 1%. It's Satoshi Boomin coming at you with another video. And guys, I'm going to need you to punch that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell so you never miss a Satoshi Boomin video. Guys, we've got these V-Chain videos every single day and you don't want to miss it. Up on the screen, we have our wonderful, amazing, greatest of all time Patreon subscribers. Dig the Voice, Eric Parra, Crypto S, V E T dot S I, Kyle Bachi, Joe Jimenez, Fruz Den, Brady Adams, Bruce Wayne, Marilyn Crypto, Jeffrey Ethan, The Fern Line, American Home Remedies dot com, Lassie Nielsen, Sergio, Mac Harris, Bread, Garlic House, and AJ. Thank you so much for your wonderful Patreon support, guys. I got my hot tea and honey locked and loaded, ready to go. Let's get this show started. Timestamps to the V Chain news will be in the comment section below. Let's get it. First news story of the day, guys. Um, you know, it came out yesterday after I did my video here. Uh, Terragon sues Ripple to force stock redemption. So this is just the latest company to pile on to the Ripple family and the Ripple community, guys. You know, I had warned you guys that there will be a lot of piling on, a lot of people, you know, uh, pulling out at random times. Um, and this is just the latest investor to pull their liquidity from xrp and ripple labs now um, more is going to happen uh coinbase is going to delist xrp not delist yeah they are pretty much going to delist and stop trading for xrp uh in a couple of weeks um amongst others so one of ripple labs big financial backers is looking to reverse this bet on the xrp issuer tarragon tetragon sorry financial group limited the multi-billion dollar asset manager turned plaintiff has led Ripple's 200 million funding round in December 2019. I remember that. On Monday, the UK's uh, the UK-based firm moved to exit its position in a sealed filing in the Delaware Chancellery Court, according to Bloomberg. Uh, this is weeks after the SEC uh, has sued Ripple to be an unregistered security. I don't think it's more of the unregistered security part. I think that um, the SEC is really angry with Ripple because they paid exchanges to list XRP and Chris Larson and Brad Garlinghouse uh, personally enriched themselves to over $600 million of the sale of XRP. So that's why I think the SEC is coming after them. Like, for example, if I was to create a coin, let's just say I created Satoshi Boomin coin and I did an ICO and, you know, I paid Coinbase in um, Satoshi Boomin coin to list my token. And then I, once the price went up, I sold, I divested a lot of my tokens in order to enrich myself. The SEC will probably come after me. Um, so, again, my stance has not changed about XRP. I'm just hodling right now until more and more facts come out. In February, there's going to be a preliminary hearing, and we will, I don't think a lot will be addressed at that meeting, but we'll still get some information. Again, guys, this is probably going to take multiple years to resolve. And, um, you know, if you're in it for the long haul and you have hands of literal stone, then, you know, you can hodl through it. Um, and that's what I plan on doing. You know, a lot of people are clowning XRP holders, this, that and the third. But, you know, you have to understand these guys are real investors. They're real human beings. And right now, you know, a lot of FUD, a lot of mudslinging is being thrown at these people. And if we in the crypto community want to win, we have to win together. All right, guys, we have to win together, guys. Um, so uh, Ter Tetragon seeks to enforce this contractual right to require Ripple to redeem the Series C preferred stock or the $200 million. And Tetragon wants the court to essentially freeze Ripple's liquid assets until it pays back that Series funding round. Uh, Re Ripple rejected the lawsuit on Tuesday in a legal filing share with Coindesk. The fintech said 
that Tetragon can only opt to flip its Ripple equity back to cash if XRP is deemed to be a security on a for, uh, on a go forward basis. Since there's been so, no such determination, this lawsuit has no merit. We are disappointed that Tetragon is seeking to unfairly take advantage of the lack of regulatory clarity here in the U.S. The course will provide this clarity, and we are in a very confident. Uh, in our position the filings were not immediately available at this time so this is something else we need to look at guys and um, you know I will be here to report it um, you know this is important to me as it is important to a lot of the v-chain hodlers all right so we're on to the v-chain news guys jump the gun there a little bit uh, timestamps to this will be in the comment section below. Yesterday we burned a modest 6.4 million veto. Today we're at the same, about 6.7 million veto. Um, you know, not really much to talk about there, but coming on over to the price, guys. Uh, you know, I wanted to talk about this a little bit and model, okay? And I wanted to talk about is v is it too late to buy V chain? Okay, how do you know when it's too late to buy a coin uh, when it's pumped? Now, the way I see it is that no coin is too expensive to buy, in my opinion, if you believe in the fundamentals and the tokenomics of the coin. Okay, for example, I still purchase Bitcoin and Ethereum right now because I truly believe I am extremely long on Bitcoin and Ethereum, it doesn't matter what price it is right now. I'm looking at what price is going to be 10, 15 years from now. Same thing with VeChain. Okay, right now it it probably isn't the best time to buy VeChain right now. Since look at if we look at this chart, this is kind of like a straight line up. And of course, every time we've had straight lines up, you know we've had corrections. And you know if you're if you're just looking for short to medium term profits. I don't think that it's very wise to enter a position right now after we've pumped 90 to 100 percent over the past two weeks. However, you know, I got a couple of questions about this in my comment section the other day. However, if you wanted to purchase VeChain or purchase any coin and you think of, you want to think about holding it for the long term and what I mean by long term you know, you have to understand long term and stocks and long term and crypto are two different things. Long term and stocks is like five to 10 years. Long term and crypto is like three to five years, guys, because uh, crypto moves so fast. It's in its infancy and liquidity just isn't there yet. So if I was to enter into a trade with VeChain and I wanted to increase my position in VeChain, I have no problem doing that right now because I have no plans of selling until, you know, 50 cents a dollar i have no plans of taking profit till then and you have to understand you and you have to evaluate that with each coin okay so um you know to answer your question to people who want to buy v chain right now when it's up you know almost 100 100 percent in two weeks what is your time frame for gains okay if you're looking for short-term profits probably not the best time to enter if you're looking to get into the VeChain community, really learn, dig deep, do your own research, be, be one with the community, interact with the community, and really learn why we're so bullish on this coin, then any price point really is acceptable because you're going to be holding for, for a longer period of time. And remember, guys, especially if you're new, time in the market beats timing the market. OK, I'm going to say that one more time. This is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own research. I'm going to say it one more time. Time in the market beats timing the market. OK, guys. So just remember that. All right. Um, I don't time my cryptos anymore. If I do my research on a particular cryptocurrency that I want to re that I want to buy, you know, I don't just buy in anymore. You know, when I was a couple years ago. Maybe a year ago, I just throw some money at a coin, wait for like two weeks to see if I could swing trade it. But now I'm more of a long term minded investor. I don't need that liquidity this instant. And that brings me to another point. Do you need money right now? OK, if you need money right now is probably not a good time 
to, you know, throw money at a project. If you need money right this instant, maybe you, maybe you should consider investing less and then eating, you know, paying your rent. <laughs> you know, there's always going to be opportunity in the market, guys. All right. No need to FOMO. Um, and we've been up, you know, I've seen this before. This is nothing new, guys. Like we've we've rode this pony before we go up, we go down, we go up, we go sideways. OK, so that's why I always preach every single day, guys, every single day. We must remain even keeled. OK, we're up at three cents right now. Everybody's happy. Everybody's euphoric. Everybody's saying, oh, my goodness, you know, we can't go down. This is it. This is over. <laughs> you know, uh, we're going up forever. And that's just not true. All right, guys, that's not true at all. So um, I'm glad I talked about that. Uh, you know, is it a good time to buy V chain? It depends. Are you locked in? Are you are you with it for, you know, the next three to five years? Or do you want short term profits? Uh, now, how much V chain? matters okay well that depends on your goal i got another question about how much v chain should i have and that all depends on your goal this is not financial advice guys but you know i would aim for about 100k v chain i think that 100k v chain is a decent amount um i truly do believe that in a super massive fomo bull run that v chain can get to a dollar just like xrp did and that'll make you a cool 100K if you decide to sell out. Obviously, more will net you more. Um, but 100K V chain is something that, you know, should be attainable for the majority of, of people. And I think that's a good starting out point. Um, you know, this again, this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own research. Um, and, you know, don't just buy because, you know, people on Twitter are telling you to buy like you have to really buckle down and really understand why the coin is pumping the way it is. OK, thank you for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> Move it on. All right, guys, we talked a little bit about this yesterday. Uh, not too much V chain news in the uh, in the circulation, uh, but uh, the V chain community awards guys, um, you know, this is important. <laughs> Please go ahead and vote. Uh, you can vote for me or you can vote for Eisenreich here, Ron Dalton. You know, there's, there's a number of amazing V chain community members. I'm voting for Eisenreich personally. Um, but, uh, I will leave this in the description below guys. Please vote, you know, please vote. Uh, you know, we, we, <laughs> this coin you have to understand guys this coin is known by 0.000001% of the population we are such a small community guys go please randomly today when you're out and about go up to a random person and and ask them about v chain and they're going to look at you like you literally have a tumor on your head cuz they're not going to understand what you're talking about and i guarantee that you could do that to 99 people out of 100 and they will give you the same response. So we're a very tight knit, small community here, guys. We're growing each and every day. The community engagement has grown by over 100% this past year. And uh, we've got a long way to go. And, you know, greats like Eisenreich, um, you know, Ron Dalton and others. I'm sorry if I miss if I have not mentioned you guys, you know, I love each and every one of you. Uh, you know, these guys really carry us here. And, you know, uh, these community members have carried this channel. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be here without them because they find all the great nuggets. So please, guys, go ahead and vote. Um, and we really appreciate that link to that will be in the comment as well. Um, so do that for me, please. Jason Rockwood posted, <laughs> it, it, this is what I love here. A student asks his Zen master, master, what do we do when the V chain price is low? The master replied, push code and onboard clients. The student asked, the student then asked, master, what do we do when the V chain price is high? The master replied, push code and onboard clients. Do the hard work daily. 
What have I been saying, guys? Ad nauseum. Even even when it was annoying back a couple of months ago, we were moving sideways. Do the hard work each and every day, and we will be where we want to be. All right, guys. Shout out to Jason Rockwood here. Amazing. And then I posted, I, I retweeted and posted doing the hard work daily because it's true. And then lastly, guys, this is the big news story of the day. We talked about this briefly yesterday, and we're going to talk about it briefly today. Uh, VChain securely stored the first 100 COVID-19 vaccination records in Cyprus Hospital, guys. This is a huge use case. Remember, pandemics aren't going away anytime soon, guys. Pandemics happen every couple of years. There are still pandemics in Africa. There are still pandemics going on in other parts of the world. And uh, we have first mover advantage. All right. The vaccination records there, uh, they are going to be required, especially to travel throughout Europe. You are going to have to have proof that you have been vaccinated. And yesterday, you know, I got a lot of comments about people not being vaccinated, not wanting to take the vaccine and not trusting um, and not trusting it. And that's OK. You know, you have your own right. Uh, it is your body, and please do what you want with your body. Uh, but for me and my family, we're all going to get vaccinated. I just, you know, <laughs> you know, I believe in science. I believe in 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 health, and you know, without other vaccines, you know, we could have polio. We could have you know other debilitating diseases measles and and other debilitating diseases that could be prevented with vaccines now um again that's going to be a decision that you need to make for you and your family uh, but if you're going to want to travel in the future you're going to have to show some proof that you have been vaccinated guys it's not me saying it don't shoot the messenger you know not some conspiracy or whatever like, come on, bro. Like, I mean, it is what it is, but I'm just telling you what it's going to be. And V-Chain is uh, right there. <laughs> right there. So imagine, guys, you know, 10 years down the road when we have another pandemic, which we will. Think, of, think about it like this. 10 years uh, in the Obama administration back in 2014, the uh, military put out a... Uh, a uh, a report saying that the Rona could happen and they had everything written out how it could happen, you know, the PPE standards, all that. So we've had this information for, you know, six, seven years and we still bungled it. So I know that there's a lot of distrust out there and a lot of misinformation. Um, guys, you know, you got to have to make your own decisions. I'm not here to <laughs> to make those for you i love each and every one of you guys please stay healthy happy and safe out there uh protect yourself and your family and let's get this bread thank you to all my patreon subscribers aj Brick, i like house mac harris sergio lassie nielsen america home remedies.com the fern line jeffrey ethan maryland crypto boost wayne brady adams fruz Joe jimenez kyle bocce crypto svat.si eric para and dig the voice thank you so much for your wonderful patreon support guys i apologize that there is not much news not much breaking news going on in the v chain community right now it's pretty slow it's been a pretty slow couple weeks guys we did all the work six months ago you know, and, and, I, and, I, and I tweeted this out a couple of days ago, guys. The best time to buy V-Chain was six months, was nine months ago, guys. It was in March. That was probably the best time to buy V-Chain. But, you know, the second best time to invest is now. Okay. We have 1,216 days to the next Bitcoin block having, guys. And, uh, oh, boy. What, uh, what, a, what a good... <sighs> what a interesting three years this is going to be. I can't wait to see how it all unfolds. Hopefully I'm still here and alive, awake, alert, enthusiastic. Taking a look at the markets, Bitcoin is up. It broke all-time highs and it looks like it's correcting just a tad bit now. Ether is up, slowly creeping up to that all-time high as well. 
I'm not really going to get super euphoric until like Cardano's a dollar, you know what I mean? Litecoin's at 400, you know? I'm not going to get super euphoric until, you know, things really start popping off. And even then, I'm going to have to check myself before I wreck myself. Let's take a look at any major pumps here, guys. Stellar Lumens. It looks like people are exiting XRP and moving on over to Stellar. Uh... It happens. It happens. Hopefully, uh, uh, V Chain can have a pump like that. Verge is pumping 50%. Uh, Cardano is up 20%, doing the dash all the way from 5 cents to 30 cents. Absolutely amazing. Let's take a look at any dumps here. Nothing really much to talk about here. All right, guys. Well,. Don't let your memes be dreams. I love each and every one of you. We're slowly, hopefully tomorrow, I can come on and say, we've reached a trillion dollar market cap total. Something like that. But I love each and every one of you. Don't let your memes be dreams. And I will talk to you tomorrow.